Staphylococcus sued intermediates in dogs. Staphylococcus pseudointermediates is a pathogenic bacterium. It is about 0.5 to 1 micrometer in diameter and it appears as grape-like clusters in a microscope. But it can also appear as individuals or paired cocci. It is gram-positive and it's non-motile and non-spore forming and usually it uses facultative anaerobic respiration. Okay. Staphylococcus pseudo intermediates is present in all dogs, forming part of the normal flora. However, it is an opportunistic pathogen and often causes an infection in immunocompromised dogs. It is also very contagious and can be contracted from the environment via direct contact with the bacteria, either from an infected or carrier dog or from the surface of an object. It can survive in both, inside and outside of the host. However, it can only survive for a limited time outside of the host, especially in the absence of nutrients. Its viability depends on how favorable the environment is to the bacteria. Staphylococcus pseudo intermediates is part of the normal flora in dogs and acts as an opportunistic pathogen when the immune system is compromised. The anal, perineal and nasal regions are the main colonization areas of this bacteria from where it is then transmitted to other body sites leading to secondary infections. Dogs are the most common animal species infected with SPSEAD intermediates. According to studies, SPSEAD intermediates is involved in 84.7% of canine diseases such as canine pyoderma, otitis externa and systemic infections within the urinary, respiratory and reproductive tract. The bacteria is most common in pets with recurrent skin infections due to underlying causes that leads to a compromised immune system. Therefore, the health, age and underlying physiological conditions such as allergies, endocrinopathies, cancer and ectoparasites play a major role in the pathogenesis of the bacteria. As a result of the careless use of antibiotics to treat these infections, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus pseudo intermediates known as MRSP, is becoming more prevalent and is of growing concern in the veterinary sector. This strain of SPSEAD intermediates bacteria is transmitted between dogs through direct or indirect environmental transmission. This bacteria may affect many different parts of the body. Certain infected areas include the skin, where it may be swabbed or a tissue sample may be taken. If it's a respiratory tract infection, samples are usually taken from the airway lavage. Urinary samples may be taken if it's a urinary tract infection, and if it is a reproductive tract infection, vaginal samples, the placenta as well as the colostrum and milk samples could be taken at around the time of parturition if the bitch is pregnant. Question 7 is all about how do we preserve and transport the samples of the bacteria. Mainly here we speak about the Staphylococcus pseudo-intermediates that is found in dogs. The first thing that needs to be done is that we need to place these samples in a fresh medium to prevent contamination. And the second thing is that we do have methods that are implemented to preserve and transport these samples. The first one is freezing. Freezing is the most common method that is used and it mainly makes this bacteria to be dominant. And then we also have the gelatin disc drying method and this method is both used for the preservation and also the transportation of this, these samples of bacteria. Staphylococcus pseudintermediates differs from other bacteria as well as from viruses and fungi. Staphylococcus pseudintermediates differs from other bacteria, viruses and fungi in its classification in that it is classified as a gram-positive coccus bacteria. 
It is also, a dif is also different from other bacteria, viruses, and fungi in its morphology because the Staphylococcus bacteria appears as a great black cluster but can also be observed singly or as paired cocci. They are non-spore-forming, non-motile bacteria and are facultative anaerobes. They also differ in reproduction because they reproduce asexually via binary fission. Staphylococcus pseudintermedius also differs from other bacteria, fungi and viruses in its genetic exchange in that its form of genetic exchange is transformation. It also differs in laboratory identification techniques in that it is identified using various methods, including gram stain techniques, blood plating methods, because it shows incomplete, incomplete beta hemolysis as well as biochemical tests.